High five for first Perry. Good boy. High five. Oh, oh yeah. Good boy. So I just want to leave it recording with a bit of silence for a minute. So that's the noise that Cooper's been putting up with down here. We thought, because up on deck, you can hear the rumbling of the engines, and certainly right at the top, near the back of the boat, we could hear the. Um, well, it's near the exhaust, wasn't it? Yeah. It sounded like a vroom, 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 vroom. I was getting a right headache up there. You were enjoying the, the view and the fresh yeah. air, and I'm like, we have to go inside. So, um, yeah. Yes. Seems to have been all right down here. Yeah, I think Obviously. you just probably have the best place to stay. Yeah. We've had some alerts of movement on our phones for the first few minutes. Um, I think it was just getting comfy and getting used to it. But yeah, Thunder Jacket worked a treat, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think it takes about 10 minutes for it to actually work when you put it on, which I know is strange, but I think he has to get the, the hug, it has to calm his system first. Right. And then once he's got that on, I mean, it's panting again now, yeah, but is, I think yeah. it's because we've come in and he's all excited. Yeah, he's excited now he's and he's baby. like, what's going on? He's a baby. Hi. So, yeah, I would come say see. that was all right. Hi. All right, Coops. Where's Daddy? <gasps> Is that a good Hi. fairy? Yeah. Is it good? Is it good? Mummy missed oh, you. Mummy missed the baby. Cool. Should we go see Estonia then? See Italian? Let's see a walk round. <gasps> yeah. I'm going to go. Koopy, you want to go to the pub? <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go to the pub? I want to go to the pub. I've already been to the pub. You did really well though, didn't you? I did. I had a headache and I felt a bit ooh, at the back. Yeah. But then when I went inside, it was fine. I did find when I was walking past the perfume shop. Oh dear, yeah. that was thunderous headache. That was going to so be. Just the smell of it. It just then? seemed to be anything that overwhelms my senses. Maybe mm. I don't know, but yeah. Ooh. Beer helped. Right, let's go. Um, obviously, we need to well, get yeah. off the ferry. Needs That's to be the first thing we need to do. So yeah, we need to uh, get off the ferry. Go find our little car park for the night. Yep. And then go and explore Tallinn. Aye. Estonia, baby. Country whoop. number nine. nine. Whoop, 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 whoop. And another celebration. We just passed 35,000 subscribers. So, Yay. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, everyone. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Country day. Country day. And today it is Estonia. Estonia. So add it to there you go, a little spot there for it. Next to Finland. Oh, 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 oh. Will you stop it? I do you? Yep. Oh I moved it at the last minute. How would you do that? Yay! Estonia, baby! They're going to get uh, thick and fast now, aren't they? Oh, aye. So we're going to have to go around there and then there 
and then and come over, over the top. <laughs> oh, we could just get rid of that because if you notice, folks, that's not on straight. So this is straight. The flags are perpendicular to that and to the top, but they've put the nexo on wrong. Not only is it on a slanty angle, but it's also not even central. So yeah, I might take that off. Not surprised at all. Just over there is Old Town, so that's where we're going to go. The van's there, all nice and tucked away, and it's cost four euros. So I can't really argue with that. Four euros for all day parking, 24 hours. And yes, we are allowed to stay here tonight as well. There we go, folks. It's not the most scenic location we've had lately, but it'll do to go and explore stuff. Oh, there we go. Ready? Pub! So the scores are in. On the first round, Mandy and I drew. On the second round, which is far more entertaining, I was the biggest loser. And Mandy was the wiener. Wiener! But I have to say, this is the coolest, craziest golf that I've ever played. But it's so basic, it's so basic. Yeah. yeah. Really love it. Good morning. Um, it's time to leave the wonderful city of Tallinn. We've had a nice couple of days. Yeah, we've done a bit of exploring, which you've obviously seen by now. Mm. It's been quite nice to have a bit of exploring. Yeah, it's a lovely, I've got a thing for walled cities. Why are they so beautiful? Walled cities and water. Yeah. Seems to be attracted to them. <laughs> Tried the local food out. Not so keen on the local food. John's just, well, I see John's not so keen because he's very particular and not, per, uh, not particularly good f with heat in food are you so i don't like spicy food for the sake of it being spicy um, you know like if it's the food's a bit naff so they just chuck spices in to make it nicer um i have a bit of a delicate belly should i say uh, which is one issue and um yeah 
some of the f stuff you were eating, it sounded great, and then when it came out, it was like, Ugh. I like had um, had traditional Russian dumplings yeah. that had three meats in, and I think one of them might have been bear or, or, or something. But they weren't dumplings, they were like, um, what's this? You said it looked like tortellini. Yeah, it's like stuffed tortellini, and I love that. I, I was waiting for dumplings, like, we're from Manchester, and our version of dumplings looks like a brain. So, so I was, you like, suet. suet. Suet dumplings. I was expecting something like that. <laughs> Oh, it's just what it is. Yeah. So, yeah, but we had a wonderful walk round. Like I said, tried the local cuisine out and a few of the local ales and stuff like that. Played a bit of mini golf last night, had a bit of fun. And, yeah, that um, was good fun, yeah. wasn't it? Um, so, so we've got a meet up with Rob on the 22nd of October, which is exactly seven days from now. Yeah. In pretty much very southern Poland. Yeah. I got me some Russian dolls. They are pretty cool. There's five of them in there. Oh, and the lady that sold on me was saying that there's a little town that's the closest town to Russia in Estonia where they make these. So one thing I would like to say is if you are not already please consider subscribing. Hit the little notification bell as well so you get notification of all the videos we put out. So yeah if you want to get one of our little sticker packs we posted loads off yesterday. So we, we take a little picture and then we print it out on the printer. And Mandy puts the uh, little what three words on there so don't you? Yep absolutely just so you know exactly where we were when uh, when it was taken. We got an order in as we were on the ferry over from um, Finland to Estonia yesterday. So that's where the what three words location on that one which is very cool. Mm. So this is a stack overhaul. So this is a bunch of British snacks mostly. Mm -hmm. And that is a bunch of European snacks mostly. Yes. And what we really need to do is work out what we need to eat first because we've <laughs> just been collecting snacks really, haven't we? And then we've literally been going, oh look, cheese balls. Let's eat the cheese balls. Knowing that these cheese balls were from like Al um, uh, Estonia even. Yeah, but they're epic. Um, they are epic. However, we have, French cheese crisps that were bought before. Yeah, so we should ones. eat the French ones for So we really should eat the French ones. I mean, when we're talking about dates, what have we got? There's 15 days in it. Mm. So 15 days, they have to be eaten 15 days before them. Okay. However, we've got till February. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Right, let's, um, yeah, let's get some overhaul in there. Oh my word. Just a few snacks. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you're giving Snack Bandit a run for money. <laughs> Absolutely, I've no pan of chocolate though, so uh, I'll say you know I'm I'm, I'm definitely um, does it definitely even count, failing. Though? No, it doesn't even count if you've got no pan of chocolate. I tell you, I do, however, have my favourite French crisps. <laughs> so happy Monday. There's two packets of these actually. So I might let you have one. Oh, thank you. But you like cheese balls. So maybe you have the cheese balls and I have the cheese sticks. Right. So, and licorice, raspberry and caramel chocolate. Oh. It's yeah. it's salty. Ah, so it's really, really Actually, nice. if we're talking about salty, there's a specific type of thing that everybody should have a go at. It's, um, it's tasty, isn't it? 
<laughs> Honestly, I will try any snacks. I love licorice. I've got loads of packs of licorice. I love licorice. I love Haribo and all of this stuff. That evil, evil thing that um, took me by surprise. <laughs> I know it says salt on the label, but it's like it's like licking the sea floor and then it tastes like dark. And on that note, folks, I think we need to choose some snacks and Netflix and some chill. <laughs> Maybe not the chill. Oh, I never get much of the chill. You had the chill this morning. Oh, yeah, it's quite cold this morning. We didn't have the heat around, did we? No. <laughs> Good morning, guys. This is a stark contrast weather. And uh, when we arrived yesterday on this little campsite for a couple of days, lovely lake views. Actually, I think it's part of a river network. I don't think it's an actual lake. But yeah, they've got everything here. Lovely shower block, toilet block and all that kind of stuff. Uh, washing up facilities, laundry facilities. Um, so including electric, I think it works out about 23 euros a day for two people or I think Alex paid 15 euros for himself so yeah not bad at all really uh, why do we have campsites now and again do you ask well I kind of figured that you guys wouldn't always be doing the wild camping bit so we thought we'd figure out a way that we did a lot of wild camping and then now and again we would nip into a campsite and just show you what a campsite is in each country you know what to expect typical prices um, that kind of stuff as well. So hopefully um, that's going down a treat and you appreciate that. So if you look between the vans there, there's our van on that side, Alex is part of that side and it works out great actually because then normally that person there wouldn't have the view because Euro vans have all got the doors on the side like ours. So I think it's ideal traveling with a Euro van and a British van because you chair that sort of uh, the table and chair set in the middle. Here's the reception building. They've got a restaurant as well that's open in the summer. So that's where you empty your grey waste. There's fresh water there and a little chemical loo disposal point right there. Got a nice little dog play area here, all fenced in. Oh, you know, as we call them, a knobber pen. So yeah, it's all fenced in all the way around there. The little gate there, dog poo bin. There's the lake. And there's the campsite entrance just there. Ever since being a puppy, he has loved playing with leaves. I don't know what it is, but it'll bite your feet. Look, he's trying to bite my feet. If you move the leaves around. <laughs> you fucking nutter. Oi! Get off! Woohoo! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh bless him a 12 year old puppy so one thing we have been surprised about about rural latvia is how bloody pretty it is um fair enough the roads aren't great probably better than a lot of the places we'll end up going actually um certainly if you compare roads to scandinavian roads i think you're always going to find out they're not as good but yeah rural latvia is really 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 pretty rolling hills tree lines lakes rivers um lovely houses farmlands and all that kind of stuff so yeah don't know quite why people don't come here as often um seems to be a bit of a hidden gem actually yeah i would, I would probably go for that oh, so this is it now we have two <laughs> similar flags for latvia it's one of those two. I'm going to go for the darker red. Yeah. Because it looks like the flag over the um, campsite. Latvian. What was your guess, Alex? Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Alex said the darker red as well. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'd love to know which one's the lighter flag. Well, we'll figure that one out time. another time. Unless it's, you know, in South America, then we'd have to wait a little bit. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't look like I can put it on the wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was their fault, not ours. Uh, dear. What, the Dutchies' fault? Yeah. 
Right, are we good? Oh, look at that, it's almost symmetrical with the... Uh, Why does it feel red? like I'm so tall? I normally have to reach up like this. Yeah, uh, because the van's parked on a bit of an angle. Oh, I like it like this. Yeah? Yeah. feel tall. I do. feel like I do. I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh. That's wonky, but we're going to go with do. it. We'll we're going to go wonky. with it. It gives it go. character. So, country number... Ten. 10 countries country number 10 for that's, this trip anyway that's 10 on our trip so far but as far as this trip's concerned that was our first new country on this trip so this yeah. is where we've been in our camper vans so far so this van and the van before it so we've been to all those countries but so far on this trip new country is sweden norway finland estonia and now Latvia. So Latvia has given us a bit of a rest. Yeah. And um, we're gonna go. We've got something to see in uh, Lithuania. The Hill of Crosses. The Hill of Crosses. Yeah. And we'll be able to drive through Riga. 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 I think it is Riga. Riga. Yeah. yeah. We'll get to drive through that and have a bit of a peek at it, which would be good because I'm saving myself. Cities tire me out, so I'm saving myself yeah. for Krakow. We're not really city people, are we? No. So um, now and again, that'll do. Which is funny because the amount, amount of weekends we used to go get rat arsed in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a change. Bit but, of a change. Yeah, but yeah, so we've got to save up energy for Krakow because I'm really looking forward to going and seeing the town itself as well as yeah. where else is there. So, goodbye, nice campsite and lake. It's a brilliant campsite. It's very nice. You've, got, you've even got hair dryers in the shower without having to pay for them. <gasps> Amazing. Amazing. Right, let's pack the van and go. So I would like to say thank you to the person who suggested to come here. Um, unfortunately, you didn't leave your name on our travel map. So um, yeah, we've got lots of places to visit on our travel map. And this one was quite detailed in the information it gave us about it. But unfortunately, um, yeah, there's no name there. So thanks very much for the recommendation anyway. It feels very sombre. Mm. And it feels like it's a very important thing. It is tremendous. It is like nothing I've ever seen before so if you were if you for a, for a pilgrimage place it, yeah. it sets the tone it's, it's perfect for that it seems that it's got all the all the right things it feels heavy on the heart like it should be if mm. it's important enough so yeah what a place eh mm. another day another new flag this is quite a nice little car park. Found a pub last night. Alex enjoyed a beer and then sent us a picture. It was so a good then, beer. So is then we like enjoyed a, a beer. <laughs> is, it, is it a hotel or something as well? Yeah, I think it is a... It's a not bad, nice little 20. area. And just in case you didn't know, we are in Lithuania. Lithuania. So, what flag do we need? That one. That one, cool. Should we um, clear a space? Aye. There we go. Ba, ba, ba. Yellow up. Yellow up. Yeah, let us not get that incorrect. Ooh, we filled the second row. 
the intention is to remove this wonky nexo. So we can actually get another lot over until we get to here. Yeah, and, and then, then we, we just to have to get the hairdryer out. Yeah, and get rid of that. Mind you, today it's quite hot. Look, look, people, look. That yeah, thing, in, the thing in the sky's out. We missed it so much yesterday, Alex, didn't we, Alex? Al Alex, tell them that thing that we've been getting. S sun. Sun. Sunshine. And, and the other one begins with S. That's really good for batteries. Solar. Yeah. Lots of it. <laughs> have you checked this morning? That's what these things are. Literally, literally they'll be like, oh, have like, you oh, seen the solar? solar the first yeah. <laughs> it's getting about oh, 60. 99 watts in a minute. That's getting <gasps> 16 what? amps earlier. Oh. Woohoo. Oh, dear me. Well, that was a bit of a thing, we were asked to pull over.